Welcome back, future accountants. So I'm doing another lesson on adjustments, focusing on trading stock deficits. Now, trading stock deficit is an expense. It is debited. So at financial year end, we are physically counting our stock. To determine how much stock is in our warehouse, how much stock can we touch and see? In the event that our trading stock account in our books is bigger than the warehouse, we have a trading stock deficit. With this adjustment, we need to change that trading stock account to be the same as the physical account because the amount of trading stock in the physical account is correct we saw the stock, we touched it, we can see it, we know that it is correct. So we need to change that trading stock account so that the amount is the same as the physical account. Now, reasons that a physical, that this deficit could occur. So here I said the physical account is less than the amount in the trading stock account. Reasons for a deficit is errors made during the year. For example, you record the incorrect markup when you are recording sales. Because remember, if you record sales, you also record cost of sales, which is the cost price of the goods that you sold and trading stock account is affected. Maybe during theft, damage or broken stock, stock destroyed or errors during stock taking. For this, a trading stock deficit will occur. So let's have a look at a typical exam type example. So in my pre-adjustment trial balance, we on 28 February, the trading stock account is 82,000. Then the adjustment says, stock as per physical count on 28 February, trading stock 80,000, which means in my trading stock account, it's in my books, I have 82,000 of trading stock. But in my warehouse, I have 80,000. Now, we know that this one is correct. We've counted it. We need to change that to 80,000. And I do that by looking at the difference and seeing that there's a 2,000 deficit. So in this example, I have my balance. Now, that is 82,000. We need to change it to 80,000 because it has to be the same as the physical count. So I'm going to take out 2,000. And that will go to trading stock deficit, which is an expense. My date is the end of the year. This is a year in adjustment. Trading stock deficit. General journal and every debit has a credit and training stock deficit is an expense expense always debit so i've got 28 february and my contra account is trading stock general journal 2000 so you can clearly see i've debited the trading stock deficit account and i credit trading stock with the difference if we have a look at our general journal, your general your general entry will look as follows. You will debit trading stock deficit with 2,000. Your credit trading stock, 2,000. Your narration is a story that tells us what happens. There was a trading stock deficit during physical count. So if you like this video and you would like more videos like this, please like and subscribe my channel so I could have create more content for you. Bye-bye, everybody.